everybody, it's Rebecca Louise, your favorite trainer, obviously on YouTube. And today we are doing a toned back and core workout, something that has been requested. So if you have any requests for workouts that you wanna see on this channel, then make sure that you put it in the comments below because we read all of the comments and I wanna make sure that the workouts that you love, there is even more of them. Now, one of the things I also wanna share with you guys is we have had so many people become ambassadors. And if you're like, I don't even know what that means, but you'd like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, take a look in the description below. I've got a special video that shows you what it is to become an ambassador, how you can work one-on-one -on -one with me, and how you can come to this house in person and be mentored by me. So any questions that you have, head on over to that video. You're gonna get all of the access and just see it. See it for yourself and it's gonna be absolutely unbelievable. All right, are you ready to get started? We are gonna be doing the toned back and our core. Pick up those weights and let's get started. All right, first exercise that we're gonna do, we're gonna take it into those arm extensions. So just pull that core in nice and tight. I'm gonna get the clock started. Trust me, we are gonna have a, so much fun today. You wanna stay all the way to the end. Why? Because your results are at the end of the workout. If you just do a few minutes here and a few minutes there, you're not gonna get results. All you gotta do is stick with me. Stay close to the fire. That's what I always tell people. When you start to wander off or maybe you used to watch my videos and you just come back, you're gonna get best results when you stay close to the fire. I'm not going anywhere. You don't have to worry about me. I'm gonna be here guiding you through whether you're in your teens, whether in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, I am going to be here. All right, release those arms down. We're gonna take it into our side raises. So what I'm going to do here is really think about using your elbows. You're gonna come your elbows out to the side, pull the core in nice and tight and take your arms out. Slight bend in your knees, Holding your core nice and tight. Remember, relax your shoulders down and then really think about utilizing your back to lift your elbows. A lot of times people are like, oh, I'm gonna extend my elbows out to the side. No, 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 no. You're gonna extend those elbows out to the side using your back because when we get that mind to muscle connection, that's where we're gonna get some serious results and then adding in your nutrition. All right, here we go. So really bring those elbows out to the side. Core is engaged. We're feeling strong. We're feeling fit. We are feeling ready to go. 10 seconds left. Let's keep that momentum. Let's keep that strength for three and two and one, and release. All right, we're gonna take it into the bent over flies right here. So when you're doing this exercise, you might wanna use a slightly lighter weight than you did with those forward ones. So have a little combination of weights so that you utilize the right weight for the right exercise. We're gonna come all the way down here. We're gonna do the same thing again, utilizing your elbows, pulling your core in nice and tight, and squeezing your back together. Inhale through your nose and exhale everything out. Just remember, every single rep, you are getting stronger. Enjoy the process. Enjoy every single time that you come to a workout, knowing that you're getting better, that you're getting stronger, that you're getting more toned, and that you're getting more bold. Here we go, we got this, 15 seconds more. You're getting more bold in your desire to be healthy, in your desire to be healthy, in your desire to be stronger. That's it, say your desire to be stronger. Here we go for three and two, and one and release. All right, we're gonna take it into an overhead press. We're gonna pull that core in nice and tight, arms out to the side, and you're just gonna shoot those arms up to the top and then bring them here at 90 degrees. Take a nice big breath in, inhale through your nose, exhale everything out, and let's go. Press and release. And then we're gonna repeat those exercises and we're gonna take it down to the ground to work your core. Extend those weights up nice and strong. Bring them out here, that's it, hold it here. Don't let them drop down. Feel that strength through your body. Feel every single rep getting you a little bit more toned. It's not gonna happen overnight, right? So often we, we wanna see that instant gratification, but it's more fun, the journey. The journey's more fun than where you get to that place where you finally got your results or you finally achieved that goal. It's actually the journey to get there that's more fun. So enjoy every single step of it. Give me one more, all the way up and gently release down. Okay, we're gonna take those four exercises one more time and we're gonna come down to the ground. So think about belly pulled in nice and tight. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take those arms right out in front. Okay, breathe in three, whoop, there's a little fly, in two and in one. Here we go, all right. Nothing gets killed in this house. Uh, even if you are a fly or a mosquito or you're a little worm or whatever you are, I'm gonna rescue you. I'm gonna put you back outside. Uh, I go and rescue all of the centipedes that are hanging out on the driveway uh, so they don't get run over by a car or somebody's foot. Uh, so everything gets saved in this house. All right, here we go. We are 
20 seconds in already on this exercise. So really think about lengthening through your chest. Nice long arm extension. Here you go, belly button is pulled in. You're extending that arm long. You're giving yourself a smile. You're staying focused. You're saying, I can do this. Even when it gets a little bit challenging, you're saying, I'm gonna keep on going. I'm gonna keep finding that next step. All right, we're gonna take it into those elbows out to the side. Just take a breath in right now. Take a nice big inhale. Anything that is not serving you, just let it go. Bring those arms in together, pull your core in nice and tight, and bring those elbows squeeze out to the side. Give yourself a smile and tell yourself that you're awesome. So often we get inside of our head and fear creeps in. And we know that we want something. We look at somebody and we say, gosh, I wish I had the life that they had. I wish I had the body that I, they had. And you start to follow them, right? You start to follow them. You start to believe that it's possible for you. And then what happens? Fear creeps in. Self-doubt creeps in. Am I good enough? Can I do this? And then other people tell you that you might not be good enough and you can't do it and it's not for you. Don't let that happen. All it is is just a change in mindset. And when you change your mindset, you change your life. When you change your beliefs, you change the outcome of what's possible for you. And gently release. All right, we're gonna take it into those nice big wide flies. So bring those legs even wider apart for me. Pulling your belly button in nice and tight. Lean forward and then bringing those elbows squeezed out together. Look slightly in front of you. Belly button's engaged. Give yourself a smile and here we go. Come on, we've got 40 seconds right here. We've got those overhead presses and then we're gonna take it all the way down to the ground and work our core. You know that when you do the work, you're gonna get the rewards. And that's the same with everything in life. If you don't put in the work, how can you expect to get a result? So many people think, well, if I just sign up for the app or if I just sign up for this, I'm gonna get the result. No, it takes work, it takes dedication, it takes discipline. And you gotta make sure that when you want something, you're willing, you're hungry, and you are coachable. Give me one more, all the way out to the side, and release. Okay, we're gonna take it into those overhead presses. Last, shoulders exercises, toned core, toned back. Here we go, in three, in two, in one. Press up to the sky. Now slow and controlled out to the side. You've got this, extend up, strong. Breathe, and very, very slow. Keeping that arm up, one thing, that nice straight line, from one side to the other. Lift and then extend all the way down. That's it, here we go. Very strong, very controlled, and think about not dropping those arms down by 90 degrees. You've got this, so you have just got 20 seconds left right here. Do not quit, find that grit, find that inner strength, find that little bit inside of you that says, I'm not gonna quit, I'm gonna keep on going just for another 10 seconds. Even though it's trembling, even though it's burning, you're gonna keep on going, because you can, because you're gonna make a decision that yes, I can. Now give me one more all the way up, Bring it all the way out to the side and hold here for three and two and one and release. All right, awesome job. We are finished with our back. You're gonna come all the way down and now we're gonna work our core. We're gonna finish with the last few minutes down on the ground. We're gonna start off with our bicycles. Great exercise to get our core engaged. Now, right here, when you're lying back, tuck your hips under. Can you see the difference? There is relax and there is tucked underneath. You've got to hold that the whole time. Bring those knees up and we're going to take it across the body. So lifting up through your chest, taking it across and lift up. All right, we've got the time on the clock and bring those knees to 90 degrees, right? Remember that little rhyme as you're tucking your hips underneath. It doesn't matter if you're able to touch your elbow to your knee. I can't do that, right? But what I do know is that if I bring my knees closer to me, I don't bring my chest up as high. I'm not really utilizing my oblique muscles. So extend that leg nice and long, almost down to the ground, and then lift up through your chest and keep your elbows super wide. That's it, the tendency is to just to kind of do this, right? And then we don't get it as much. We're gonna lift up, see the difference right there. You're gonna work your obliques more. Give me one more and release. Okay, we're gonna take it into in and out with a twist. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up onto your elbows right here. We're gonna keep working with your oblique muscles right here. We're gonna extend out, we're gonna come in together, and then we're gonna take it over to the other side. Here we go, looking good. So nice, long, keep those toes pointed, keep your feet stuck together, keep your thighs stuck together, and then just try and get a little bit lower down, right? Modified version, kind of go up here, right? Make it a little bit more challenging, you just go low. That's why I love these exercises that we do here, the whole burn method. Make a little bit harder, nothing crazy that's gonna damage your body, nothing that you're gonna like be able to, you know, 
really, really hurt yourself because everything is great mobility movement. All right, extend that leg nice and long. Here we go, take it over to the other side. You got this, five, three, two, and one. All right, we are gonna go the very last exercise. We're gonna do is our very last ab exercise. We're gonna take it into our reach up. So you're gonna come all down to the ground. You're gonna shoot your legs up right here. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna send both arms up to the top. So keep your legs nice and still and just lift up. Think about that little crunch, breathe. Now, if your neck starts to hurt, just bring your head and let it, let it rest into your hand and then feel that squeeze. Point your toes, straighten your legs, and then get that squeeze. Think about each time somebody is kind of punching you and you're squeezing it into your stomach. This is the last exercise, so keep on going. Keep moving through it. You've got this, and breathe. Woo! Keep those elbows nice and wide. If you've got your head in your hands, you've just got this for the final 10 seconds. Come on, lift up just a little bit higher. Use your core, and let's go for five, four, three, two, one, and release. All right, coming all the way into a seated position. Oh, you guys did amazing. Well done. Keep up this great work. Remember, we've got a couple of other workouts that I suggest are great to do after this one. And of course, all the results are gonna happen when you start that burn method. Love you guys so much, and whew, I'll see you on our next workout.